Open your Bibles with me again to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. We're doing a series on the sufficiency of the scriptures in the battle. Talking about Christian warfare. The Bible doesn't shy away from describing our ministry as warfare. We do not fight against flesh and blood. We do not use weapons, carnal weapons, the Bible says. But we are in a spiritual warfare. We do not I wage war against the people who oppose us or disagree with us. We wage war in the spiritual realm. Those people who oppose us are actually people that we're supposed to love, even if they're our enemies. So we're supposed to love them. And no better way to love your enemy than to give them the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. So we're looking at the sufficiency of the scriptures in the battle. I, I lay the groundwork. I think, I hope our, our church understands the groundwork. The Bible's inerrant. It's infallible. It's perfect. But it's also sufficient. That's actually one of the attributes of Scripture that's most under attack today, even among those who claim to be a conservative or even fundamentals, fundamentalist. 2 Timothy 3.16, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. Profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. We're going uh, all to all here. All scripture, all good works. Again, I make no apology for repeating this. If you find the scriptures are not ministering to you, you find uh, you're a believer, and you find that the scriptures are not uh, concerned.